Right? So, we're gonna move to the subnetting section or I mean to the subnetting module or to the subnetting lesson here in our subnetting section. Okay? This is it. Ito na, magsasubnet at i-apply na talaga natin yung mga natutunan natin in the previous lesson. So, yung conversion ng binary to decimal, yung conversion ng uh, decimal to binary and vice versa as well as dun sa subnet mass as well as yung everything that we learned from IP address classes and all. Okay, so ngayon pag-uusapan natin on this video in the, in the following video kung uh, bakit hindi ginagamit yung mga default subnet mass sa karaniwang networks today as well as bakit um, I mean, paano natin natitipid? Kung baga, paano natin minamanage yung mga IP addresses in the real world? Right? So, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay? Subnetting fundamentals. Okay? Um, when we talk about default subnet mass, we, we, we know or we understand that may mga default tayo na subnet mass and since they are default, meron na silang nakaset. Diba? Meron na silang nakaset na number of networks as well as um, available number of ad, uh, addresses or yung available IP addresses na pwede natin i-assign doon sa mga devices natin. Yung uh, kumbaga yung tawagin natin na house numbers, right? Default. Ibig sabihin, hindi na natin mababago. Ibig sabihin, nakaset na. But, of course, sino may sabi hindi natin pwede baguhin? <laughs> okay? So, with subnetting, we can change those. Okay? So, let me show you the problem with default subnet mass. Okay, so as you can see here, in class A, B, and C, since yun lang naman talaga yung ginagamit natin in assigning in, in network devices, okay, uh, we have the default subnet mass. For class A, we have 8 bit. Ibig sabihin, we have 8 pieces of ones uh, on the start, consecutive ones, kasi we're talking about subnet mass here, right? Now, uh, ibig sabihin nun, ang meron lang available for class A in terms of networks or in terms of streets, are 128 networks or 128 subnets. Pero, each subnet naman, pwedeng magkaroon or posibleng magkaroon ng 16,777,214 IP addresses or host. Minus ko na dyan yung 2. Okay? Kasi laging merong hindi kasama, di ba? Yung network address as well as yung broadcast address. So, minus 2 na yung mga yan. Ibig sabihin, these are all valid IP addresses or valid IP host range na pwede natin i-assign sa mga devices. You're seeing the, the issue here? You're seeing the problem? Meron kang 128 available mo, 16,700,000 plus. ba? Now, what if, what if, gusto mong uh, mas malaki, mas marami kang network, pero konti lang yung host mo. ba? Let's say, you need 150 networks. Sa class A, Pero hindi naman ganyan kalaki, sobrang laki naman yan. ba? Ganun, ganun din sa class B. Since we have 16 bits or we have 16 pieces of ones na para sa network, that indicates that we can have, ito, medyo dumami, 16,384 networks or street, and then we can have 65,534 host IP addresses for each of the network. Okay? Inalis ko na rin dyan yung broadcast address tsaka network address. So, meaning... Yung kada pirasong network dito, 16,384, pwedeng magkaroon ng posibleng 65,534 na, uh, na host or IP addresses in that network. Pero may problema pa rin eh, what if I want more than this or what if I'm, I want uh, fewer than this? Diba? So, since they are following the default, kapag ka sinunod mo yung class A, B, and C na subnet bus, automatic ito kagad yung nakukuha mo. Automatic ito kagad yung posibleng maging host at saka posibleng maging network uh, addresses mo. Now, ganun din sa class C. We have 24. So, we have 24 ones na magkakasunod, magkakasunod or slash 24, di ba? We can have naman 2,097,152 subnets or networks available. Pero, yung kada subnet na yun, it can only have 254 available IP addresses for the host or para sa house numbers. So, you seeing the, the, the issue here? Probably thinking, Sir Billy, siguro wala naman problema. Kahit gamitin ko to, o kaya naman gamitin ko to, ito, ito maraming networks, konti lang yung ano, di ba? Yeah, probably wala kang magiging problema sa una. Pero if you really want to customize, optimize, optimize, you mean, you mean 
uh, smooth yung traffic mo, smooth yung network mo, walang masyadong broadcast, di ba? You don't want to use the default. Hey, isa pa. Imagine, what if point-to-point yung network mo? Ibig sabihin, dalawang device lang, dalawang router na magkakonek. Dalawang pirasong IP address lang kailangan mo doon. <laughs> Alin dyan ang gagamitin mo, di ba? Tapos, ganito karaming network for that class A. Maraming nasasayang. Di ba? Maraming hindi nagagamit. As well as yun nga, hindi mo nasusunod yung, yung optimized and efficient design, ika nga. That's why we call the process subnetting. Ibig sabihin ng subnetting is we are customizing subnet mask. We're not following the default. Okay? So, kalimutan nyo na yung de- default from this day forward. Okay, huwag nyo na kalimutan kasi may gagamitin pa natin yung sa computation. Pero, in terms of um, using subnet mask, in terms of using networks or VLANs in the real world, we don't follow the default. Okay? Hindi natin ginagamit yun. Kasi nga, limited yung pwede mong magawa or nakadefine na eh. Alam mo naman yung mga, alam mo naman tayo, ayaw natin ang default. Okay? Take note or just um, a trivia. In the IT real world, bihira or walang gumagamit ng default. Default password, default setting, default configuration, default subnet mask, bihira gumagamit ng default. Bakit? Unang-una, it's security. Di ba? So, sa security, alam na ng mga hacker yung default for example, default password ng Cisco. For example, default uh, password ng ganito. Kaya naman, default settings ng ganito. Default number, uh, basta default, in the IT real world, binabago natin yan. <laughs> okay, security tip yon. Anyway, so ang, ang subnetting is tinatawag nating pag-customize or the process of customizing subnet mask. Ibig sabihin, instead of using the default, we're gonna customize according to our needs, according to our wants as network engineer, as CCNA. So, tayo yung nasusunod, hindi yung um, subnet mask na, di- na isinet as default for each class ng IP. Diba? So, ang ginagawa natin is, we steal or we borrow bits from the host portion. Kasi, di ba dun sa nauna, diniscuss natin ng subnet mask, it, yung mga ones, it indicates the network portion. Tapos yung mga zeros, it indicates the host portion. Now, since yung mga, mga host is all zeros, we're gonna turn some of them, some of them into ones para mabilang sa network. Gets? You're getting this? Di ba? We're gonna turn those zeros into one, i-steal tayo ng bits from the host para ilagay natin sa network. Kasi ang, ang goal ng subnetting is to customize the networks or the subnets itself para maparami natin, mapaliit natin yung network. Alright? We're good with this. Mamaya magkakaroon tayo ng mga sample subnetting scenarios and we're gonna solve subnetting problems para mas mag at mas maintindihan mo pa yung tinatawag nating subnetting. Pero for now, let this fundamental sink in. Okay? And um, of course, uh, diniscuss natin yung mga nauna, diba? So, 192.168.1.0, class C yan, by default. Diba? Class C. So, alam natin na by default, it has a slash 24 subnet mask or 255.255 the 255.0 or 24 na ones na magkakasunod and then walong zeros, right? And then alam natin na itong mga to will be for the networks, for the subnets. This one will be for the host. So, in subnetting, <coughs> excuse me, in subnetting, what we do is we borrow, for example, these bits at ginagawa natin one yan. Ang mangyayari, hanggang dito yun yung magiging network natin at dito na magi start Kumbaga, kasi zeros lang yung para sa host eh. Diyan na mag start yung para sa host. So, we borrow, we steal bits from the host portion and then uh, assign it or transfer them to the network portion. That way, napapalaki natin, napapadami natin yung networks. Siyempre, umuunti yung host. Eh, but it, it really depends on the needs and namaya pag-uusapan natin para masolve natin yung mga sample subnetting questions or sub- sample subnetting problems. Pero we're good with this. Okay, so yun yung pinaka-fundamentals ng tinatawag nating subnetting. We, we customize subnets, we steal or we borrow bits from the host portion para magamit ng mga network or sa uh, subnet portion. Right? We're good. So, we do this because we want a scalable and customized design. Okay, so again, kung tutusin, pwede mo naman gamitin yung default. Eh. Ang, ang, ang problema nga lang, unang-una, pagkakatulad na ang, ang kailangan mo lang na IP is, ano, katulad yan, slash 24 lang sana yung kailangan mo, pero ang gusto mo ay class A. Diba? 
So, ibig sabihin ba nun, gagamitin mo yung 16 million na IP? Di ba? Gets? You're getting this. So, hindi siya efficient. Hindi siya optimized. Kasi, once you, you, once you have those large network, napakaingi nun. Di ba? Alam natin, nakapagka yung mga switches is on the same network, they are sending broadcast sa first time nilang mag-communicate. So, it can happen pagka wala kang subnets or VLANs or division ng network mo. So, once we go with VLANs, makakatulong din to. Pero for now, I hope you are getting the fundamentals. Okay, so, subnetting, we customize subnets mass by stealing or borrowing bits from the host portion. Right? Di ba kanina, pinakita ko sa inyo yung table ng default kung saan we have this, right? So, um, by default, class A, B, and C, we have 8 bits of um, subnet mass or 8 pieces of 1, 16 bits for class B, 24 bits for class C. E. Now, with, when it comes to subnetted networks, for example, nakakita ka ng 10 na network, di ba? Or 10 na IP. Alam mo, na class A yan. Pero, when, when we subnet, when we do subnetting, we can have, for example, 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Yes, my friend. So, probably you're... Kasi, di ba, familiar ka na dun sa, sa IP address classes, eh. Alam mo na yung class A, which is 10, class A yan, di ba? Class A private IP address. Now, alam mo na ang, ang default nyan is slash 8. Sir Billy, bakit pag minsan nakakakita ko dun sa company namin, yung 10 gumagamit ng slash 24? Well, that is already submitted. Okay? So, if you're seeing an IP, sabi ko nga, di ba, dun sa una, kapag ka nakakita ka ng IP na walang nakalagay na, na subnet mask, you can assume it's using the default. You can assume, pag wala kang nakikita ng subnet mask. Okay? Now, pag may nakita kang subnet mask, yun na yung subnet mask na ginagamit niya. Pero, ibig sabihin, kapag nakakita ka ng isang IP, no matter what IP class it belongs, dito sa, sa tatlong yan, kahit class A, B, and C, it can use any subnet mask. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, it goes to, through the process of subnetting. Okay? Sinabnet na siya. Subnetted na. Okay? For example, nakakita ka ng VLAN. Sinatrabaho ka, sir. Um, Pinag-create ako ng VLAN sa company namin. Ang, ang ginawa ko is, or ang pinagawa sa akin is 172.16.1.0 slash, uh, slash 25. Eh, di ba class B yan? It's only using slash 16 dapat. No. Okay? I mean, yes. For default. Pero since... In the real world, hirang gumagamit ng default. We go with subnetting. We subnet the, the default. And we customize the subnet. So, meaning, um, we borrow bits from the host portion para mapadami yung networks. Ibig sabihin nito, di ba? Slash 25, class B na na. Remember, 172 is class B. Pero, ang, ang gamit niyang subnet mas 25 bit na. Di ba? Lagpas na dun sa ginagamit ng class C. Pero, it, it doesn't matter. Tama pa rin yan. Okay, we can still have 32 bits kasi 25 na once na magkakasunod. Di ba? Let's take for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, yeah. Di ba? So, 25 na once and then <coughs> 7 na zeros. It's still 32 bits. Diba? So, yung lahat ng ones para sa network, yung mga zeros para sa host. Okay? So, again, when we go with subnetting, you're gonna see IP addresses that belong to different classes using different subnet masks from their default. Okay? So, hindi i-ignore na natin yung default subnet mask niya. Pero tatandaan nyo pa rin. Kailangan kasi matandaan nyo, unang tingin pa lang, saan pumapasok yung IP address ang an uh, anong class okay dapat nakatanim na sa isip niyo no kapag 12126 or 02127 nagsisimula yung IP that's class A kapag ka 128 hanggang 191 that's class B and then 192 hanggang 223 that's class C and then dapat alam niyo rin dapat nakatanim na sa isip niyo kung ano yung mga uh, default subnet mas nila madali naman tandaan 8 16 24 yun yung default nila now sabi ko nga in the real world you gonna see like this Okay? IP address that belong to, to different classes using different subnet masks from their default. So, ibig sabihin na, dumaan na yun sa subnetting, they are already subnetted, and they are using customized subnet mask. Very good? With this, so in the next video, in the coming videos of this section, 
We're gonna solve subnetting problems. We're gonna do um, the subnetting process, and we're gonna see how we can divide a certain subnet mask and use or um, how we can divide a certain network into different subnets or into different networks. Ano yung process? Tapos ano rin yung pano yung pagsolve? Say for example, ay we can divide this network into three subnets, etc. So ano yung proseso? Ano yung mga kailangan tandaan? And then we're gonna review the subnet mask again. And uh, yung diagram natin lalagyan natin ng subnets. Okay, so we're good. So I'm excited for you on this section. Uh, I'm gonna end this lesson here. We're gonna start our sample subnetting scenario on the next video. I'll see you there.